Hey there, welcome back guys, episode 4 of my um, single player series. How are you doing today, you good? Awesome, I was just about... I've been working a bit on a better armor set and I just hit level 30, oh that's nice. Projectile protection and unbreaking. And by the way, I said that I was going to save the steel stuff to melt it down, but I tried and it doesn't seem to work, even though it's fully repaired. Um, notice we got a new little island here uh, i kind of moved our botania stuff over here and i'm not sure what i think about this uh boxing arena because <laughs> it really looks like one uh quite yet but uh eh, it will do i think it's i think it's decent um botania definitely feels like something that needs to be a garden thing so Moved it all over here. Got a bit better structure now with three mana pools and mana distributor. And uh, should be good. Also started to dig out a tunnel towards our basement, factory basement area. Whoa. Um, and that's about it. I've been, uh, been doing some mining and all that as well, of course. Uh, these, by the way, are mana pylons. And I just destroyed that. Damn it. Ugh, I just literally threw away the hole in the trash can. Anyway, these are mana pylons, and they will two of these will make an enchantment table become level 30. Now this is highly temporarily set up. I want to automate this um, in a soon future. Um, Today, guys, we're going to get some power going, definitely. I I was waiting for this um, that we were working on the, in the last episode, but I don't get it. Where's the temperature gauge for this? And this is 64 cold pieces, by the way. I don't get it. Maybe once we start working with it, something will happen. Um, oh, do you know what I realized? I've been crafting a bunch of stuff that we need, but I think I missed one very very important thing that actually may may cause this thing to be impossible to do after all uh, damn it let's see maybe we need to go build craft pipes here the thing is the next utility um, energy is RF but it needs to be transferred out through these transfer nodes and you have to do them in a QED and a QED takes a lot of ender pearls to do, and we need power set up for that. We will see, we will test this out, and we will see what we end up with. Uh, so let's get let's get started here, shall we? Let's just put away some of these. Uh, there. I also made a hammer. Oh, uh, sorry. An axe. The hatchet, I call it. For some reason, it seems to be bugged. You, you can't really hang it on the... Uh, on the tool racks and you definitely should be able to you can hang a shovel so yeah i don't know what's up with that but i will live uh let's see we are gonna do there's a bunch of different ways to do a tree farm in this pack uh, but i'm gonna go with mine factory reloaded simply because i think you know personally that that is the best best way of doing this and uh, we're gonna need that you know what we are missing though we Oh. We probably need a liquid transfer node. And for that, I'm pretty sure we need two lapis. Yeah. Uh, hello, you. Do I destroy anything? No. <gasps> Where did it go? Oh, wait. <laughs> go in there? Yeah. Alright. Um, I'll, I'll fix that later. Now, let's see. I want to do, I actually forgot to bring everything. I'm going to need that, probably that, and uh, where are my upgrade thingies? I'm pretty sure, no wait, I didn't make the upgrade thingies. I was thinking we should make them together. Um, so in Mine Factory Reloaded, you can go with, and to increase the range of the machines, you can use these. I'm gonna go with one called silver and that should give us a total range of 11 by 11 which is what I've laid out on the back side there so 
craft that up isn't too expensive and silver is one of those things that you tend to get a lot of and you don't need it all really uh, I also probably should make another cool thing here uh, what is it called a hammer or something and in there precision sledgehammer two sticks this guy will tell me and show me exactly um, the area of the mine factory with loaded things and it's also the wrench of the mod. Oops, you should go into the trash can. I know I'm throwing a lot of things away but don't you worry, uh, we will manage. So how do we want to do this? Well, I'm thinking, let's put the harvester there and then let's install this and just double check if I've calculated right. No. <laughs> What? Isn't this 11 by 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. See, it says 6 increase, and the basic without this, it's definitely a 5 by 5. No, it's a 3 by 3. So it increases 6 on each side, then, I guess. Uh, Alright. Maybe we'll uh, fix that later, but for now I think this is good. I mean, it's still within the area Let's find the middle here. I think this is probably a good spot Yeah, looks good looks good and then I want to go one more down and place my planter down there This guy is gonna shoot out all the saplings for us and it's getting night time um, I think this guy yeah, he gets power look at that nice so he gets power. The only question is, how are we going to power that guy? And that, I think, would be very tough. I am absolutely not sure. But I'm pretty pretty certain that you can't uh, transfer it directly from the generator. What I want to try, though, is would it work sheeting it a little bit here and pulling it from this? I don't think so. We definitely need the um, energy pipes and all that from uh, thermal expansions. They, they're just so good, so easy, so straightforward. Okay, you got power. You don't have power. Okay, let's sleep through the night and have a think about this. What we could do is place another generator over there and that would save us um, some time. But what we may do instead is look at these. Um, power input pipe. I've never really used these, so I'm not. I'm, I'm a bit scared, as with all new things. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Let's create whatever that is, 32, and then we'll set this. Oh, that's gonna eat up my redstone. I don't want to do all of them. Let's do maybe 16, and have a look. If these can pull out power from that guy, then then we're in good shape. And maybe <laughs> maybe to test this out, let's just move this guy back a bit. Let's just put him here for now. The thing is that these machines doesn't require a whole lot of power. So uh, the other thing though is, I mean. We need, we need some way. Okay, so that doesn't even accept it. Um, we need some way of transferring power in the base. Hmm. Maybe the only sane thing to do is to go and hunt ender pearls and create that QED. What is involved? I think it's very expensive. Yeah, two ender pearls there. This is three ender pearls for those four so four ender pearls yeah four ender pearls should about do and then some quartz and then we also need the ender crystal thingies what are they called uh, there i saw them i saw them there flux crystal and that's two ender pearls each plus some blaze shots so that's crazy let me let me have a think here. Um, actually, there's one more thing we may afford to do before we do a cut here. Let's put these away, that away. I'm gonna cook up. 
Uh, okay, you go in there. Oh wait, that's raw plastic. Um, <laughs> damn it. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. There is there is something called a redneck cable. This guy here, redneck energy cable. Um, that was what crashed my test world a little while back ago. Um, so I am not not super happy about using it. I did speak with the author of my factory reloaded Skyboy, and he said that it was fixed in this version that I'm using now. Um, so I wonder if we should just try it out. These, by the way, are the trees that we're gonna want because they give us wood crappy wood that we can turn into charcoal and they give us rubber which we are going to need as i said for a lot of the plastic thingies so you smelt that down you get rubber and you smelt that down and you get plastic pretty cool guys i think this is working believe it or not i think the red net uh what are they called red net energy cables are actually pulling out from extra utilities and that is going to be amazing I didn't back up my world. I trusted the author. Uh, <laughs> called me stupid. Oh, and I just left everything at base. The thing is that they are very expensive on rubber. They are very expensive on redstone. So we got one piece of redstone left. So probably I'll have to do some, uh, some nice off-camera mining. Which I don't mind. I like it. Uh, but I want to see if we have enough to set this thing up. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this isn't centered at all, is it? Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Mm, there we go. Cool. And for now, just gonna do that and that. And this guy now have power, by the way, because I tested it over here, but it seemed to work. So. We're just gonna hope it does. As I said, it doesn't drain too much power anyway, this machine here, so we can get this going um, and hopefully fully automate it. So what do we wanna do? This guy is gonna shed the um, trees and this guy is gonna plant them. Now, the way this works out, you can see these guys are kinda overlapping each other and of course it's not gonna be able to plant where it isn't dirt, right? So we don't have to worry about me derping a little bit on the upgrades um, now then this guy is gonna pull out whatever he picks up which is saplings it's gonna be apples rubber and two types of tree uh, for that I think we're gonna go with some barrels simply because uh, it's gonna be the easiest way of sorting without building anything over complicated here so I want we want to place down a chest here that's always a good thing with mine factory reloaded uh, blocks because otherwise if they don't have an output that is valid they will clog up so that's a good thing to remember I'm gonna put an item transfer node from extra utilities there and then I'm gonna go with some normal transfer pipes like that and now if I go ahead and say uh, I don't have any of the stuff that we are gonna get Okay, we'll just leave it for leave it like that for now. Then what we want to do from here, we want to uh, we want to place down a redstone furnace somewhere very close to this whole thing here. I'm gonna say let's let's go with a black uh, with a redstone furnace over here, and then I'm gonna shift click there and. He's going to get power automatically from just being adjacent to it. And I'm going to try, if this outputs immediately into this, uh, then we should see the charcoal just disappear. Yeah, awesome, look at that. So we can't even see, oh yeah, I guess. Wow, it's really, really burning through our charcoal. Here, let's sleep quickly. Um, so the idea is, take all the crap wood, be the rubber wood, because it only... It only contains three planks, while other wood contains four, right? So take all that crap wood and throw it directly into the redstone furnace, if you can. Otherwise, store it. Um, actually, I just realized that maybe we will get a backlog here. 
Ah, that's no problem. I know how to fix it. We're going to need two more things here. And we are really low on wood. This, I think, may be our last wood. We're going to need that. And then two strings. Go like... No, that's a frame from um, for the B thing. How is that you do the item filter thingy? Aha! We're going to need some redstone. And I believe that I was right when I said we're totally out. So let's wait with that and I'll go and mine in a little, in a little bit here. Uh, but basically we'll have that guy there and he will pull out anything except for the rubber wood. The rubber wood will be uh, stuffed in this chest and then whenever the furnace is able to it will be pulled down here so we'll allow it to come down there. We'll, we'll do filters to make sure that only the rubber wood stuff goes into there. The next thing we are going to need is for the planter to get the um, saplings and for that we're going to need two more of these. And they require redstone. So I will do my duty. I will wait no longer. I will go and fetch myself a couple of stacks. I don't need much. So that should go quick. A couple of stacks of redstone. And I'll meet you back here. All right. We got some redstone. And I found some other cool things here. I'm going to show you. I mind this. We got dense ores in this pack. And this is a dense diamond ore. How cool isn't that? This guy is going to contain like, I don't know, 12 diamonds if we have fortune 3. Um, and I'm probably going to store diamonds like this until I have a better fortune pick, by the way. Alright, um, what did we get? One and a half stack, alright. That's, that's, that's okay, that's good. Break you. And break you. Everything is so darn manual so far. Oh, I actually had some more redstone there. Cool. So, let's do the item filters first. Put the string away, did I? Oops. We are going to need a bunch of these, so yeah, I'll make four. And then, what was it that I just said before I went mining that we were to make? It was some item transfer, transfer nodes, and then items. Okay. Da, da, da. And you know, to save on redstone, we could use an ender pearl here. Eh, yeah, we will. All right, I will have to. We, we actually need exactly two to get something started there, but uh, I'll just go and mine that later. So we don't need that. Good that I crafted it. Splendid. Excellent. Um, and then a chest. Should have one, right? Mm, okay. Ah, good. I was, you know, really afraid there that I wasn't even prepared to make a chest. Horrible. There we go. We're gonna need well, exactly four, I think. So that's that's good. First of all, let's let's do this. So, rubber wood. Do I have a tree? No. Jeez. <laughs> Keep running back and forth. My apologies, guys. This is why I need to automate everything because uh, I'm simply not good with with doing things manually. Uh, you know what we can do here? I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a fun fun trip back. Let's make something cool. Let's make a watering can. This gadget is very very useful. You basically want to do it as soon as you can afford it um, because it will apply it, it won't apply bone meal it will apply a growth tick to whatever plant you're standing next to or watering i think um i haven't actually used it but i guess we go down we fill it do we yeah and now look at this as i said it doesn't apply bone meal but it applies growth ticks. Much like the green grow from Blood Magic if you played with it. And I think it also works on these since it apply growth ticks. Ticks, probably. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Um, and the reason I wanted it was so that I could, in a very cool fashion, grow this tree quickly. Come on, you. 
it would have gone quicker with bone meal. But look at the particles, look at the blue jumping things. Maybe it isn't working. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's not my day today, I guess. But it is fancy. All right. I have another idea. Let's go and grab some bone meal. How does that sound? I like the idea. There we go. Because we only need... I only need a few pieces of this. And I'm going to cut this down later, by the way. I just don't want to bore you with it. And a few pieces of that. That's just for the item filters. Uh, let's see. To apply something to these, I believe you just right click. Yeah. And let's put one with oak wood. No, no. That's not really needed. Let's put one with rubber wood. And this guy can go here. Cool. Then I'm gonna go ahead and split this. Make that. Make a torch. And we are going to do another one with rubber wood. But this guy I am going to invert. Meaning that it's now blacklisting it. And I'm gonna put that in here so at this setup rubber wood should only be able to pass downwards and i'm not going to try it just yet in case i need to use it in some more filter uh, next we're going to need some saplings and we're going to sleep of course and uh, so some saplings i want to grow oak and rubber I actually bring all of these um now the nice thing is that we may get our ender pearl back here. Find myself chasing Enderman or being chased by Enderman in every episode now. I don't know why they spawn so frequently here. They must love it. I guess, I mean, the mountains are tall. They are tall. Maybe that's one of their things. And they drop these. And I believe we can make, like, maybe some Enderman farm with them. I'm not sure. Nomadic craft plants. Um, yeah. All right, he's gonna kill me when I'm working on this. Cool. Uh, <laughs> annoying. Um, let's see, so this guy is done. He outputs, this guy is gonna output everything else here. Right. What we can do then to make this look best is we're gonna have two of these getting saplings in them and those two we want to send back to the planter but we don't want to stuff it so that's why i want to use barrels right um and you could use micro blocks here to make sure that these don't connect but i don't have any saw yet so i will go and grab some more of these and we probably need to craft a few more up here uh, let's just get rid of some junk. Oops. There we go. We need an MA system here pretty soon as well. So let's see. What does it involve? Transfer. Pipe. Glass. One piece of redstone. That's really cheap, by the way. And you get 16. I like it. No, you get 8. Okay. There we go. That should be sufficient. And... I like these pipes overall. I think they're easy to work with. They are micro blocks, so you can cover them. Yeah, I like it. So, let's tunnel our way through here. And basically, what this will do is refill the planter um, all the time with the saplings. Do this. And I probably want to place down some torches here just to make sure we don't have any accidents creepers blowing up and you know all that crazy stuff i will cover this up afterwards so that means that those two will contain these and i will lock them and you can see that they are already starting to be pulled in oh come on there we go and planted very nice not exactly what we want though and i'll tell you why in a second so i'm gonna take these down uh, we want to make sure that we tell this guy, first of all, consume stack off so that he doesn't use up the last one. And then I'm gonna use some of this. Um, 
maybe not. If you look here, this is its filter. If you look down here, you'll see red is that corner. So this is actually aligned to how I'm standing. Now I wanted to plant rubber on most of these. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say all of these areas except for the one at the lower bottom there. And then I'm gonna say, make sure that we have four rubber stacks. And if I do this, I can then limit the amount of oak saplings. This is important because otherwise it may run out of rubber saplings. Cool. So now it's gonna plant um, the oak in this corner here and everything else will be rubber. And that's important because rubber will produce not only rubber, it will also produce uh, charcoal, which will be our power system essentially, uh, if we can get this running. And if we get a surplus of charcoal, which I really hope we will, I'm not sure with this guy, um, then we of course need a fifth barrel for charcoal and that will be feeding our base power as well. But now, basically all we, all we do now is play the waiting game. I'm gonna go ahead and lock in rubber in there and lock in oak wood in here remember shift right click to lock the item that's in the barrel cool and why did i want to use barrels well otherwise i would have needed some kind of sorting system to say only oak in this chest um only rubber in this etc etc now it will kind of force it to do any uh, to do this and this is kind of not doing what i wanted to do oh okay i see Dun, dun, dun. What can we do? Let's grab you and say also the middle slot should be rubber. Yeah, that sounds good. And believe it or not, a lot of these trees, even though they are planted this close to each other, will grow. So this is how you do a proper rubber farm. I don't like the, the other ones with the industrial craft rubber trees. I think that's a bit overkill to get rubber. You need to extract and all that, so... This is actually going to work out pretty well for us, I think. But um, I'm just going to wait around here. I may bone meal it a bit since the watering can didn't work. Big disappointment. And then uh, we will come back and see the result. And if we get a surplus of charcoal, maybe we can pull some power into the base. Maybe. We will see. The generator, not a good idea. The high temperature generator like uh, we we're having such a bad time here we didn't get a surplus this is actually like 12 hours later i've just been waiting um, and testing different alternatives and um, so as you can see we, we do have some stuffs um, and loads of rubber wood but the generator nah that didn't work um, then i tried the furnace generator and that works but it it's really slow and if this is going to be our like fuel for for the next maybe five six episodes until we get production of lava then um nah so what i'm gonna try instead i dug out a room from our basement here i'm gonna try to have this as our steam power production room um and i'm gonna do all of this off camera i just want to show you um what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move all this because I tried a steam dynamo and that definitely works better. So I'm gonna use two of these to power the charcoal production here and then I'm gonna use more of them to power the base. Uh, but I'll do all that off camera so that we have power uh, before ending this episode in like two minutes YouTube time. Uh, <laughs> But I will move all of this down, as I said, and I will also mine some more redstone because I definitely need more cabling here. So that is the plan. Oh, look at that. Loads of rubber, which is awesome because that's plastic, right? Oh, man, that was, uh, that was harder than I thought to get all the resources. We were really low, by the way, on resources. But check it out, guys. We got power now. This is our power room. It is being uh, run runned by five steam dynamos. They're collecting power into a energy cell. And I'm getting some FPS drops. I'll talk about that in a second. And we got some wire or energy pipe going over here. Powering an energy cell underneath there. That currently is powering an energetic infuser. That's right. I went ahead and uh, enchanted my power tools with the flux and this is the thing you want by the way flux 
you put one of these leadstone energy capacitor which is just some sulfur very easy uh, into the tinkers uh, tool forge and instead of draining durability you will drain rf which is superb so now all that all i have to do when i come back to base after mining is just charge them up again um and what else yeah some fps drops with these uh, energy cables it seems uh, they'll they'll most likely fix it uh, if, if that is the issue for me though i'm thinking maybe i will uh, in between episodes get some energy nodes from extra utilities um energy these guys here uh, get a qed running get some redstone get some gold they are very very expensive because these i can use to transfer power from cells and then i can use extra utility pipes which are much cheaper um, and not as laggy also they are micro blocks so i can cover them up with covers um, but anyway the good news is we've got power in the base i haven't yet installed any machines and i will in between episodes put up the basics our pulverizer and all that probably in here we'll have a little machine room um, but, since we have power, we should fix one more thing before we end the episode. And I think I have everything prepared. We're gonna build... Oh, what is this? Energy pack. Huh. We're gonna build a jet pack. You know, do if we have power, we definitely need to have a jet pack. Oh, wow, I didn't even know this existed. This is a potato jet pack. This is super easy to make. You can make this in, like, day one. Look at this. A lead nugget, potato, redstone. I will give you that. Um, and then string. Oh wow, that's simple. Didn't know that. However, I know that this guy can't recharge. Clever but not survivable. Blah, 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 blah. Nah. Um, we're gonna do a proper one. So let's see. Lead, leather strap, and that. Okay. I should have crafted everything in advance here. Because uh, there is a bunch of steps. So I didn't want to bore you with it. Oh yeah. However, I don't want to settle with that. I'm going to upgrade it immediately because we could like this. Awesome. That holds, what is that? 400,000 RF. Cool. Let's uh, charge it up and try it. The cool thing with this, um, as opposed to the industrial, for, uh, industrial craft one, it takes RF, which is the main power that I'm going to have anyway, but it also allows you to have armor plating um i think i need to maybe bind some keys here yeah because it doesn't work like that okay should we check this out difficulty peaceful that's uh it's a server though don't worry um dun, 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 dun. i see two journey map miscellaneous hmm Simple jetpacks. Okay, switch mode. C. No, maybe X is a good key. I don't know if I'm using it for anything. I'm gonna use it F until I have Tomecraft. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. And then hover mode. Ah, cool. Hover mode makes it so that you slowly descend like this. I mean, it's not a massive amount of power in it, but it's definitely a nice jetpack. Um, and you can do armor plating. Let me show you quickly what I mean. So you can make these. And um, how do I make the armor plating? What are they called? Armor plate here. You can make iron. That's just very simple. We could make bronze, which requires an induction furnace. Um, and we do have that. So maybe, yeah, here, let me craft this up off camera. I'm gonna need tin, tin, tin and iron should be really really quickly done because uh, I know we've we've hit the we've hit the time again so let me craft this up and we'll see how it looks all right let's see if we can do this I needed the tinkers alloy thingy and there we go nice so this should give us yeah three three armor protection that is cool oh wow we look we look pretty handsome I would say. I like it. Guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. In between episodes, I will probably go and explore a roguelike dungeon and uh, get some ender pearl production for next episode. That is the plan at, at the moment anyway, because we need that to do a bunch of things. 
I'm just missing boots, otherwise my armor is pretty done. Oh well, I'm not gonna use this now, but hey. Wonder if I can enchant this. We'll see. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope to, to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.